Hello viewers, our team has carefully selected these messages for your edification and transformation. Watch and stay blessed. They manifest as prophets. Are you there? Oh, you are not with me. Please help me preach to your neighbor. If four spirits want to manifest, they manifest as what? False prophets. Because the idea of the prophetic is mouthpiece. So when that false spirit begins to hover, looking for an agent that will find compatibility with him, he finds someone that is willing to become a mouthpiece. That's how a prophetic ministry begins. Once upon a, a time in my experience in ministry, there was this woman... The woman became so sick. Her health condition defied medical help and assistance. Then her people came from the village and pressured her husband that they have to take her to the village. So when they took her to the village and they administered village cure, she got well and she came back as a prophet. She began to see things. You need to see the number of people she gathers on Thursdays, on Saturdays, on Sundays. This was the person that people were coming to pray for because of the sickness that defied medical treatment. This person we are talking about, are you there? Her husband is the pastor. She was not a, a faithful believer. She didn't believe in the calling of the husband. But she just fell sick. And when they took her to the village, she was revived and came back with a calling. The, 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 her, her prominence was so much that the husband who had the calling sat down and, and said, okay, she's the oil to power the ministry is on his wife now so he's, he's he he's a student now learning the oil learning it the practitioners of divination are no longer in the forest and in the hinterland they wear suit now very powerful suit and they have better microphones than most of us. The effort that I'm making this morning is to provide basic discernment on how to know if someone is operating by the spirit of divination. The woman became a mighty rendezvous point. Oh my God. She steps in like that after praise and worship. And she begins to pick people, tell them about their, first of all, in order for her to make you believe she's saying the truth, she would make, mention some things that she can never know except by revelation. And then she disarms you quickly. Tells you about your village. Tells you how many siblings you have. Say one has died. Mention the name of two of them. The name of your mother. Ah! Everybody on Saturday, people in fact, you need to see the crowd. Huge crowd. In fact, one of the days she came and anointed one of her daughters that when she dies, you are the one that is going to carry over in this walk and all of that. It is that daughter that I met because the woman died suddenly. And then that daughter now was anointed, ordained to come and carry the ministry. <laughs> ah. Then death began to hit the family. Then that daughter came to see me. That was how I got to know this story. The lady that was anointed to take over the ministry doesn't have a calling. Well, we will go back. We will we'll come back to that story. If you are still with me, say amen. amen. Me 
Meanwhile, I realized I was not primed. <laughs> because I'm beginning to enjoy this thing now. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, I'll round up. I'll round up now. I'll round up now. Welcome to Apostolic Sermons TV. On this channel, you're going to be getting soul lifting messages, prayers that will help you grow and mature spiritually. Remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel, like the video you're about to watch, and comment also. Thank you and stay blessed.